Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions. Now in this video, I'm going to be comparing two of Ubiquiti Unifies cameras. We've got the uh, AI turret and we've got the G6 turret. So AI turret is a fairly new camera. It's only been out about six to nine months, I think. I'm not sure exactly when it came out. And then we've got the G6 turret, which is even newer. That's only been out for a couple of months. Now these two cameras appear to be very, very similar in spec. There's only a few differences, which I'll run through in a minute but there is a significant difference in price. So the AI turret is 366 pounds, including that, and the G6 turret is 190 pounds, including that. So that's a difference of 176 pounds. So it's almost twice the price for the AI turret. And what I wanna know is why? Why is that camera so much more expensive? And is it almost 50% better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the specs and then we're gonna look at the video quality and the features on those two cameras and see how they perform. And I'm particularly interested in how they perform at night. So let's check it out and we'll find out whether or not it's worth paying that extra money. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the differences on the technical specs. Again, I just wanna point out here that the AI turret has an LED and this is the only place that I can see that it actually says that. Okay, so here you can see there's a 10 meter difference on the IR, 40 meters versus 30 meters. The other thing to point out is the audio. We've got two way audio on the AI turret, but it's just a microphone on the G6 turret. Uh, the network interface on the AI turret is one gigabit and uh, you can't see it here, but there is a hundred megabits on the G6 or FE. The max power consumption on the AI turret is 20 watts versus the G6, which is 12 and a half. And that's gonna make a difference if you're using things like flex switches, you can only gonna be able to get a couple of AI turrets on that. Or if you're using door hubs or gate hubs, you've got to remember that that AI turret is not going to be suitable to directly connect to that because it needs PoE+. And the final difference is that the AI turret has a micro SD card slot, and that is for edge recording, whereas the G6 turret does not. Right, and here we've got a side-by-side -side of each camera. We've got the G6 turret there and the AI turret. Uh, they're both really nice cameras in terms of their construction, both solid feeling, uh, metal-based. Uh, what I really like about these cameras is that Ubiquiti are not trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh, and the cameras are very similar in design to some other brands. So the AI turret is very similar in design to the Hikvision Smart Hybrid turret. Uh, the only real difference is the light around the outside of the camera. And then the G6 turret is very similar in design to an Ajax turret camera. And now we're gonna make some comparisons on the video quality and also the AI features. So just so you know, this is how the cameras are set up, just fixed to a pole. Right, so the first camera is gonna be the G6 turret and you can see that it's got a nice clear image there and you can just spot my car in the distance there. So let's zoom in and then you'll see me approaching the car. I've just sped this up a little bit just to make it a little bit quicker. And then the car gets spotted at the end of the drive, which is about six meters away. And it's read that plate and identified everything about it nice and clearly. Now you can see me walking down the road. Again, I've just sped it up a little bit and it spots me in pretty much the same location. It's just the end of the driveway there. It's got me as a person and then it gets my face about here. There we go, it just caught my face. Okay, now we're on the AI turret and you can again see the car at the end of the road there. So we'll just pull that in and I'll just speed up a little bit. And again, the AI turret gets it in almost exactly the same place. Right, there's me again walking up the road, sped it up. And the AI turret just catches me almost exactly the same place. Um, but it doesn't get my face till a little bit later. I um, just have to move it up here a bit, but it spots it there. And I think that's just because the AI turret is slightly lower. Okay, let's just be clear that there is one camera on at a time here. So we've got no infrared coming from the other camera. It's just the infrared from the camera that we're looking at. I've also turned off the security lights and I've turned off the other cameras that are outside the front of the house. So there's no other infrared. We do have a street light. It's not overly dark at this stage, although it does look dark on the cameras, it's not overly dark. The only thing I'd say about this is the camera is fairly low, so it does get glared by the headlights a little bit. But you see the G6 doesn't spot the vehicle until it's right on top of it, and then it just spots it. Okay, and this is me walking up at night, just sped it up a little bit. And you can see me quite clearly that I'm a person here, but it does not spot me as a person. So it's completely missed me there until I get right on top of it and then it captures me and my face. 
Okay, so now we're in the AI turret, and I did this twice. I did this once with the LED supplement light, and once with just the IR, just to see how much difference that makes. So you can see me walking down the end of the road, we just sped it up a bit, and then it gets me here. There we go, and it's switched on the uh, infrared light, and it's spotted me as a person. It doesn't get my face until I'm pretty close, but it's about the same results as during the daytime. Okay, now this is infrared without the supplementary LED light. And again, the camera gets me at the end of the driveway, but in this case, it doesn't capture my face at all. Right, now we've got the car. So it gets dazzled by the headlights a little bit and it doesn't pick it up at all um, until it gets right on top of it. And then it does pick it up. And in fact, it does successfully read the plate. So there we have it. That was a comparison between the AI turret and the G6 turret. Um, my kind of thoughts on this were I was quite disappointed by the G6 turret at night. I thought that it would do a little bit better. I think from the vehicle perspective, the headlight glare probably didn't help. But from a person spotting perspective, I was very clear at the end of that driveway as I was approaching and the camera still didn't pick that up. And I just don't really know why that wouldn't work. And you might say, okay, if I tried it again, then it probably would work. Or you tried it a few times, it might work. But really you want this camera to be consistent. So that part of it was a little bit disappointing. However, having said that, the price difference is really quite significant. And I think really that's gonna put a lot of people off getting the uh, AI turret. One camera, you know, 167 pounds is not necessarily the end of the world, but if you're gonna be getting five or six cameras, 10 cameras, whatever, then that cost is gonna add up very quickly. For us, what we do is just give customers the option and tell them the difference between those two cameras, which is really what this video is all about, to help people understand whether or not it's worth paying the extra money. So thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.